never seen you just so. Hey, what's good, y'all? Daddy, I'm kind of dark. Can you go? We pop that light on real quick. I don't know why only oh, yet 11 minutes. What's wrong with this thing? Hey, so did y'all see um the um help shook up? The CBS special with Gail King that they chopped up in pieces and let us see sections of it all week. And we saw the whole hour. What you think, Asia? We was, ta we was talking about this. Right? Terrible all the way around. And y'all, um, what's that lady name? Y'all look up that Sharon. Sharon Winbush, I think that's her name. She was his nutritionist. Just look up R. Kelly's nutritionist. She got a story for you. She got a story to tell. And it make you... Make you feel some kind of ways. Like it's just it's just bad all the way around. Just bad and sad. And we was talking about you're probably talking about that in your video. Oh. Yeah, show the book. <laughs> Color purple. That book is what? 20, 30? 33 years old or more. Something like that. It was, so I said, he kind of lived that story. <laughs> he, I mean, the young girls. <sighs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> It's on the spot. We've been talking about this. I know. Um, so I told you that up. What's the, oh, Hawaii 5-0, this dude standing in the middle of the street and got ran over by the uh, tractor trailer. But I was talking about in the other video, I really don't think that he really does not think that he did anything wrong. <coughs> and when they showed that picture of him when he was a little boy, I dad all day cried. Because I was just thinking, you know, mama then single mom then went off to work and she done left the older ones <coughs> to watch the younger ones and they did that to, you know, I, that older brother, I know he, he I don't even want to talk about him. <laughs> but the sister, you know, it said from he was seven to like 13 or 14 years old. And that's what I was telling a little girl over here, right? I was like, most of the things you learn, you learn, um, you know, when you're little. Like, direct, like so for instance. Like your manners, say please, thank you, you know, um, <clears throat> your ABCs, you learn how to tie your shoes and stuff like that. So you learning all this stuff when you're little and I guess for most people, they are learning the right things. But if you're learning, somebody's molesting you, then you probably think there's nothing wrong with that. You think it's just something normal. That is hap that that happens to everybody. Maybe I don't know. Like maybe you think it's something that happens in every house. Now the little brother said that he knew it was wrong. So and watching this interview was I hit you know I laughed this I had laughed at the one part where he was talking about. Cause, and I said that too, because Gail was like, is R. Kelly and Robert different people? And I was like, I said that. And he's like, no. He said, it's just like a police officer. Um, You put on your badge and your uniform and you go out and, and you do your job and you come home and 
and and you're with your family. I'm like, what? 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 And what else did um, he was saying on? I don't think they showed that one on this. The clip that he um, he, scale was like him holding them girls, uh, holding girls. He said, "You said I held five to fifty girls against their will, and then." Oh, the way he said the cult. He don't. I don't know what that is, but I don't have one. What? But no, not that part. But the part where he was like, "Yeah, I'm holding somebody against their will, but they can go down to the street and get the shoes from the oh, uncle." Yeah. Oh yeah. Yo. Something. Something ain't right. Like. And I. And then. You know, his nutritionist was talking about he, you know, he can't read, he can't write. Yo, how did he, how was he a songwriter? Like, how was he a successful songwriter? Like, I don't understand, like, I mean, I know they have technology. You can speak it, maybe you can speak it into your phone and it writes it down for you or something. Oh, mm. Huh? Oh, he did say it. He said... He wrote both of his songs, though. Right. <laughs> See? So and that's what he was telling Gail. Yeah, he's like, yeah, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. He's like, no. I'm the same person. Robert is R. Kelly. But R. Kelly is, is what I do. Uh, that's my work. So, what? <laughs> and then he was talking about he went to the bank for the first time. Ever. Ever. He said he went to Bank of America. First time, 52. And come to find out, he only had 300 some odd thousand dollars. And she's like, how is that possible? You know, people dipping in, who knows? If he can't read or... And that's not to say he can't read at all. I just, just yeah. like little girl was saying, I was saying that too, dyslexia or something. And you see numbers and letters backwards or whatever. The, 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 child, the man is a child. The man is, is how do they put that? The, the, it's a boy and a man's body. I hate to say it. Because yeah. he is, and then it's hard to, you can't really say the IQ because the music, like the music is genius level, but then the social part is not right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It just made me, it made me so sad when they show him as a little boy in that picture. Because I can only imagine. If y'all ever saw the Antoine Fisher story, that was another one. But he, you know, he didn't, you know, he didn't get in trouble for allegedly abusing anybody. He just was telling his story of finding his family and all that. That's a good movie. And he was molested by his foster sister or whatever. She was, and I, you know, I, I think most people know that. I don't even. I can't even say that. They know it's not right for your relative to be or anybody to be touching on you in a uh, uh, inappropriate way. <laughs> but it was probably just taught to him so young. He just. He think it's normal and he's stuck. He's stuck there mentally. He never got no help. And just put all of it into his music. And that's, and that's what happened. And that's why all the young... He, 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 could, he can talk to young girls easy. Because that's where he is. And that's where his mind is at. It's not at a 52-year-old. Oh, When that girl... When that girl father said he was 45. 
Jocelyn's father said he's 45 years old. R. Kelly, 52. So you date somebody older than your daddy. <gasps> what? See, see, I'm like, how many are we got crushes? There's crushes. But who asked for their crush? See, is that the problem? See, I'm about to run out of these young, these, 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 just shut up. These young girls were so uh, captivated by him that, and, and, yeah, and it's about to cut off on me, y'all. What? Say what? Young girls and all that stuff. Young girls? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Who was checking for ID back in the days? I mean, that's the question. Was anybody checking for IDs when the girls snuck up there? I'm not taking up for them, but I'm just saying. All right. Did y'all watch the show? And check out that nutritionist lady, um, Sharon Wimbush. I think that's her name. And let me know what y'all think. Let me know what y'all think about all this. All right. See you in the next one.